So we're here again. We're doing a, a repeat. Same, same process. Different day, different horse. Next up is Mr. Wild. And he's going to uh, meet her for a little bit and we'll see how that goes. I expect it to go well. He'll probably be kind of curious. Um, he has not come from the same area. Stop leaking the wall, you weirdo. Take off. It's weird. It's just like this old algae. That... Anyhow. <laughs> Carry on. And he's definitely not come from the same area at all. So I has got to pee when she gets in here. So David's going to bring him over. Way over there. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I think it'll go well. Oh, well. Different area, different kind of horse. Our BC Wildies are quite interesting depending on where they've come from. They uh, they can be a little bigger, a little smaller. And I guess in turn, obviously, slightly different breeds. Kind of open. she'll have a little, herself a little roll finally. She's like, I remember peeing here. This smells exactly like me. <laughs> oh. Off to the door. Says, Who's that guy? So, this should be interesting. I guess I'll go and get her away from the gate, send her on, make a little space. Okay, you, get out of here. Go, go, go. Off she goes. Here comes the man. So I'll wander off to the side a little bit. Get a greeting going on so far all of our meet and greets have been absolutely fantastic hey buddy he says that thing looks really small is that a horse let me go verify that <laughs> so we'll see how it goes it's pretty cautious isn't he see anything pretty good so far He's going to be very um, much more natural sort of approach, theoretically, compared to the domesticated ones. He's spent the first three years of his life free until he was captured and put into a holding pen in very, very poor conditions. Oh, backing up. Oh, he's noisy. I'll find a barrel to hang out next to. Makes me bigger. <laughs> he's such a cool horse. Such a neat horse. He's no Luke, but he's he's cool. funny when I take these videos I'm constantly trying to stare at the screen to get good composition or good framing and stuff and so I almost never really watch them I never look up so I can't really see them in person <laughs> experiencing this as you guys are except I'm here oh oh he's out this is fine should go with him Ah, oh, you better not jump on her. <laughs> kick him, Annie. Kick him in the chest. You have tiny little legs. It's good. Oh, she's got some boundaries. He's kind of a rambunctious youngster himself.
Hmm. If he gets too rambunctious with her, I might step in, but so far I think I'm just going to be kind of quiet. But if he kind of tries to pin her in the corner or something silly, which it doesn't appear that he's going to, it's just being nice and big. Oh, see, it's getting, I'm getting close to being concerned. But not quite. <laughs> Why didn't you go through the stairs, man? You can't be afraid of those. You've been in here a hundred times. I'm yelling at my horse like he actually understands me. What an idiot. Okay, Annie, what's happened? Is he a weirdo? Does he smell funny? Oh. Says, I'd rather be with him. He says, look, I can go between the stairs and the walls, Saga. <laughs> So I'd say this is quite good. Oh, that's a quick chitty chat. There's the butt. You're gonna get kicked, buddy. She's happy to kick you. Which is good. And he listens, he's not overly pushy. He's got a few things to say himself, which is fine. And you gotta stop licking the walls. It's a little weird. Yeah, I don't know what it tastes like. Can't be that good. Hi, Annie. You're such a good girl. I had somebody write a comment. Why do you always touch and mess with their eyes? It was quite rudely written, but I thought, why not? Oh, watch out. Why? Why do I touch their eyes? Um, usually because they have a little bit of goop in there. But the eyes are a very sensitive spot. And if you can touch the eyes, it's kind of a good bit of, like, it's kind of a litmus test in a way to see if they are willing. There, he got himself a good kick. Good job, Annie. You kicked him in the chest. He deserves it. Um, but they, it's a bit of a litmus test to see if you, they'll close their eyes, whether you can touch a sensitive spot on their body and they have enough trust in you. So it's a, it's a place I go to a lot. <clears throat> um, the interesting thing is that I've seen, I've seen Luke do it. Um, I've seen Luke sort of play with couple of horses eyeballs not that he does it often or something like that but you could tell that there was some softness there there was some something there that just sort of represented quiet and soft and safety trust so it's kind of my go-to um, and uh, that's why I do it and so far so good works quite well get often asked why does uh, Mr. Wild make so much noise when he runs? It's a common question so I'll answer it again but he um, hey man you got kicked in the chest you okay? I bet you are. <laughs> little baby kicks. Um, yeah, they trap a little air in their sheath and then it moves around and makes a sloshy sound or whatever. <laughs> You're such a neat horse. No, no nibbling. <laughs> no nibbling. Oh, weirdo, eh? Me, not him. What are you gonna do? You gotta back up. Oh, it's so squishy, his nose. He's just the squishiest. <laughs> yeah, not not any worse for the wear. He's he's taking a kick somewhere, but you can't tell. Where'd you take your kick, man? Watch out. Let me see. I don't know. I can't tell. I can't. Just a little slap. She slapped him. Well, he might have himself a roll there. Let's go check out Annie licking the wall again. Taking off all my algae for me. Annie, you're doing a great job cleaning the wall. She says, oh, you always chase me off of the algae. I'll follow. <laughs> Little tiny Annie butt. Uh, 
Hey, who dropped turds here? Looks like I want to hang a right. Let's go come over here. Dude, she's gonna kick you again. It's gonna be fast. Mr. Wild's like, I like barrels. I can play the barrel. Start drumming, man, it'll be fun. I'm just kidding. Don't drum in here. Bite him, Annie. Bite him. Bite him in the nose, quick. <laughs> it's good, though. It's a good little relationship so far. No real trouble. Kind of getting along. Mr. Wilds, just a, he's a, just a young youngster. Annie, bite him in the face. Quick. <laughs> You're a good little listener. Did you get some hair in your mouth? She's shedding like crazy, pal. You don't really want to do that. No, you don't. How'd you get a scrape on your nose? So, what can we conclude so far? That all of my horses are amazing? Yep. Yes, that is a conclusion we can come to. Little Miss was, was good. She's done really great. Still, get off of the... Here... Um, so we've got a few more horses to go, so we're going to give that a go as well. And, uh, and she'll have met everybody, and then hopefully we can start mixing and matching and getting things into a proper herd, because she will be part of the whole herd, for sure. That won't be long from now. But one by one, get them sorted out. So maybe that's about it for this one because they're just sort of milling around together anyways. And it's good. She sort of set some boundaries and he's like, meh, right, fine. I don't want to get slapped again. Maybe they just like the view. Somebody wrote a comment that it's gorgeous to look out the back of the arena and I couldn't agree more. I love the forest. It's one of my favorite places to be. Kick him, Annie. Well, she could have, but she didn't. She pulled her punches. Okay, well, that's about it. Um, let's leave it at that. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. I mean, we'll see. Maybe uh, I'm going to, as usual, I'll leave the arena. If they do anything interesting, I'll try to catch that. If not, well, then this is the end. And I will see you next time. But if it's fun, I'll be back.